Hello and welcome back. The last time we talked about the structure of the levial plant and today we will talk about the phototensors another way. So we will know today the source of oxygen that evolves during the photosynthesis process. Well, the first scientist who pointed out that the oxygen evolves from the photosynthesis process was a scientist called Van Neel in Stanford University and to point out this he used something different from the plan to show that oxygen evolves from the photosynthesis. Well, we knew that the plants are the only autotrophic organisms. That's right, but there are some types of green and purple bacteria which live in the swamps or the ponds where the hydrogen sulfide is abundant where they use the hydrogen sulfide instead of water to carry out the photosynthesis process and of course the organism which carries out the photosynthesis process must have the chlorophyll so the plant have the green chlorophyll while those bacteria have bacterial chlorophyll and this bacterial chlorophyll is simple in structure than the olive chlorophyll or the normal chlorophyll that we know as we mentioned before that is C55, H72, O5, N4, Mg is such a complex molecule well this is more simple than that one alright so what did he do? well Van Neel made that bacteria carry out the photosynthesis process and he got out this equation we have 12 CO2 plus 12 H2O as is 6 only and here we have light energy and here is the chlorophyll So the products are C6H12O6, which is the glucose, plus we have here 6H2O plus 6O2 that evolves from the plant. This is the equation of the normal photosynthesis process that the plant carry out. So what is the difference between the process which is carried by the normal chlorophyll and the other which is carried by the bacteria chlorophyll? Well, we will erase this. And here we type bacteria chlorophyll. And here, instead of the O, we have an S, which is a sulfur, the hydrogen sulfide. We said that the hydrogen sulfide is abundant in the swamps where the blue, where the green or and the purple bacteria live. So they use it instead of water to get the hydrogen and manufacture the carbohydrates. 
and here 602 we have a state effect 12 sulfur and of course sulfur doesn't evolve and it precipitates so this is the difference in the two equations well we have here the glucose is constant the water the carbon dioxide all right so this was what Van Neal did but it was only theoretically and he didn't assure the results of his experiments actually or experimentally so a group of scientists of California University in 1941 assured his results experimentally and they knew what was the source of oxygen which evolves from the photosensors we can notice something uh, as we said the difference between the bacterial chlorophyll and the normal chlorophyll in the two equations that we erased the O and written an S in the hydrogen beside the hydrogen so they use another thing they use the radio active isotope of oxygen well the normal oxygen is 16 they used 18 The mass number is 18. And they carried out their experiments. They used in the first experiment water with this radioactive isotope. So the equation will be CO2 plus 12. H2O and this is a radioactive isotope with the light energy and the chlorophyll to yield C6H12O6 plus H2O, here we have 6, and 6 also O2, and this is the reactive one. So, this was the result. Here, the produced oxygen from this process was the reactive isotope found in water and it wasn't the normal oxygen found in the carbon dioxide as it was believed that the carbon dioxide was the source of the oxygen released in the photosensitive process the second time they repeated the same experiment but they made this oxygen normal and used the radioactive isotope here with the carbon dioxide well the results were like that the produced oxygen was normal one and the oxygen in the water was radioactive and here in the glucose also was radioactive. So from those two experiments we conclude that the source of oxygen which is produced in the photosynthesis process is from the water, not the carbon dioxide. And that was our lesson today and thank you for watching. See you next time.